What's going on, Jam Family? Welcome back to another video. If you guys aren't part of the family, make sure you guys subscribe by clicking that button below. Turn on post notifications. Once you guys do those two things, make sure to comment done. See, because I don't know, I don't know about you guys, but it's cold. It's cold and, you know, gotta start it off right. It's eight o'clock in the morning. Rise and shine, new baby. Like today's video, as you guys see by the title, it's just gonna be what we've been going through for the last a week and a half. And it's just amazing. It's crazy. It's stressful. I'm not gonna lie, but it's just beautiful. It's crazy. So you guys will see baby princess for the first time. And she's just adorable baby. She's she's beautiful and she's everything I wanted. And like I have nothing else to say, like I'm speechless of what I received and I'm very thankful and obviously Jenica is too. Uh, she'll talk more about what she's been feeling. So basically we're like taking a little break from all the crazy ass videos we've been doing and we're thinking of starting to vlog. I hope you guys like this content. If you guys do, make sure to subscribe. All right, so I'm done with the intro now. Let's go find where my queen and princess are. All right guys, so the girls are downstairs. Jenica's over there cleaning and princess is falling asleep. <laughs> she's smiling, baby. She's she's probably dreaming of something. Look, look, look. <laughs> I'm gonna let her sleep. Oh no. Mm hmm. Oh my god, you're hungry. Oh no. She's hungry. Yeah, I think so. Nope. You're not hungry. No, nah, she's not hungry. She's going crazy. So lately, the last week or so, we have been adapting and we're doing good. It's a process, but we've been doing good. Uh, <laughs> she's laughing. We're learning. Yeah, like Jenica over there said, we're learning. Oh my God, those eyes. So I don't know if you guys see like her eyes, but they're so cute. What's wrong? Hmm? Hi. Hi. Say hi to the Jen family. Oh, mama. Baby princess fell asleep again and <laughs> That's another thing we need to say about her. Like, she's just a happy baby in general. Sometimes she gets cranky when maybe her diaper's full, if she's hungry, or what else? Or hiccups. Or, or hiccups, but. She doesn't like hiccups. Mm -hmm. Other than that, like, she's just a full on great baby. She's wide awake right now. Like, like. <laughs> So Jenica's now going to say what she's been feeling for the last week and yeah. I've been feeling like tired, exhausted. We get some sleep, but it's like we have to wake up every like four to three hours to feed her. It's not because she cries, it's because we have to feed her. Huh. It, every day is like different. Every day is different with her. It's like, like we do the same thing like every day, but... it's We don't expect it to be the same thing. Yeah. Like... We have the same routine every day, but it changes every day. And she's only a week and three, four days. And it feels like I told Jenica on Saturday when she completed her first week. I, I, I was like thinking of the things we've done. And in the past week, even still, if I just remember right now, like it's been so much things. It feels like we had her forever, basically. Yeah, huh? It feels like a month. Like, literally two or three months that we've had her, and it's only been a week and three days. Like, it's so full of, like, we gotta go do do this, we gotta do this, we gotta do this, she needs milk. Her appointments. Um, her appointments, um, uh, what else? Diapers. Like, diapers, um, she needs to eat, like, it's, 
it's so like much. We, it's like we have someone that depends on us, basically. Yeah. Yeah, and we're blessed to have her. Like blessed. we're not complaining or anything, but <laughs> <laughs> we're but just like, saying how we feel. Huh? Uh huh. And like, it's good that I have Jenica by my side because she helps tremendously. You help too. No, I don't. He helps a lot, actually. Um, but it's just one road at a time. Like it's barely a week, and she's gone through like at least four to five packets of milk and she's a eater she poops a lot too she does um she's really smart too like she like usually p babies with like her age or her days of it of like being born she's not supposed to be doing like she stands thing. up yeah like, her head she her, like gets it up she goes like this and around and around uh, she's falling asleep right now but she would do it like when i'm taking her gases out that's what she does and she's just a advanced baby I, I told jenica it's too much prenatals like oh we wanted to say that she's a great baby we literally have to wake her up to eat unless she's totally hungry if she's pooped or peed or she, she does. has hiccups she hates hiccups she hates hiccups like right now she had them and she starts crying like she gets fuzzy she gets like fuzzy <laughs> <laughs> but other than that she's an easy baby actually yeah. Like, what I see with other parents, they'd be, like, saying, oh, my God, my baby's, like, hard, and they cry too much, I don't sleep, and all this. But her, she's just so different. She probably got it from her dad, because when I was a baby, I was a crybaby. So, how do you feel? I feel exhausted, tired. Um, I feel happy, excited, grateful. What do you feel? So, now me. You. Um, first of all, I'm grateful. I'm blessed to have a healthy baby, to have a beautiful queen. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm just blessed and I'm thankful to be here. Like, I have no words. Like, I'm really thankful that, like, sometimes it's too stressful. Like, I'm not going to say that she's not stressful. Sometimes it does get to us, but it's to a point right now that I can handle it. It wasn't like the first two days, three days that we weren't used to things. And right now, like, we know her flaws. We know when she needs something. We know wh why she's crying. Like, it's either gas, it's either poops, or it's either she needs to eat. And she's just an overall great baby. And I'm just thankful for that. And thankful that she's here, healthy. She looks like me. She does. <laughs> I got nothing to fight about. And uh, I promise her to always be there. Always be there for anything, everything she needs. Like right now. Here, hold She's it back. talking. She's over here talking. She's going crazy. She's over there. <laughs> she's, oh, yeah. she's peeling a little bit because she's a newborn. But that's why she has like a lot of little peels. Oh, yeah. I definitely forgot to tell them. So like Jenica just said, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm just going to say for the persons that don't know. You guys see, like, in her forehead, like, right there? <laughs> her eyes. Or her, like, little eyes. Uh, she's starting to peel because we just showered her. And the skin loses oils. And it makes it to, like, peel. Also, her, like, little feet. But they told us that it's normal. I'm just really grateful. And I promise her to always be there. First of all, as a father. Second of all, as a friend. And third of all, as a supporter. And I promise her to be there as well. Yeah, give me her. It's probably... But other than that, she's a happy baby. Hi, mama. Like, hey, happy baby. And if you guys want to see, like, a, us talking about, like, how labor was and what we experienced and all no, that. No, this is. All that is? Yeah, you go ahead. Go ahead. I thought I was going to do another video. No, go ahead. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like story time. Well, labor was painful. Really painful, painful. It was scary, stressful because we wanted her to be here already. She didn't want to come out. 13 hours. 13 hours. And then I pushed for 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 15 yeah. minutes? She pushed for 15 minutes. It for took me 13. a long time to push because I'm really bad at like, handling pain. And then I'm not good at like breathing. The method, I'm not good at it, huh, babe? I was really good at it. And then I was getting, like, really frustrated. Like, I wanted her out already because it would hurt really bad. But when she was out, everything was, like, so worth it. Like, all the pain. I saw her. I cried so much, huh? It was just beautiful. He didn't record it. He forgot to turn on the camera. I know. I forgot. It's because everything was crazy, huh, babe? Everything like, was, like... They came in yeah. and it was go time. Right? It was, like, oh, my gosh, she's 10 centimeters. It's time mm -hmm. to push. That's how it and was. I, I, I'm pretty sure, like, I hit the record button 
but I guess I hit it, but the camera was off. So I never like started recording because this one was like, but the, the LCD screen to see ourselves was like normal, like it should be without seeing myself. I just pressed the button thinking that it was gonna record, but it didn't. So I never got like the official labor. I know you guys saw like a little part, but that was only when she was pushing. And when she came out, unfortunately like the I legit didn't record one it. yeah he didn't he wasn't mm -hmm. able to like record it because he was all like like scared nervous and, and scared yeah. i didn't know what was gonna happen but it was a great experience and the food the hospital food oh my god let me oh tell you god. those tater tots the were good tater tots. if you guys Damn. ever get pregnant now that i'm telling you to go get pregnant but the tater tots were so good yeah oh. order some tater tots just a, tater tots two yeah. orders of them because <laughs> oh my <laughs> god yeah. i don't know how people say that the hospital food is gross it's like gross it's good it was maybe because we were so hungry 13 hours without eating especially her because mm -hmm. i had like mcdonald's or like coffees i would have only jello and ice cubes Dang. and water a and little bit water. of water and it was just crazy but all throughout like a beautiful experience so i just want to say you guys to stay tuned because I know we've been calling her baby princess, baby princess, girl. baby girl, baby, baby. Um, we're going to have a, I think we should just say it right now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. She deserves to. No, nah, I, 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 we, we should just keep it. Come on. Yeah. No. An another video. We're going to save it for another video. Next video. We promise you guys is going to be her name reveal, but like, I don't have nothing else to say. What did you feel in your... In labor? Yeah. Like, at first, I didn't believe it. Like, we... like he was seeing the head for, like... Because he was looking down there. Yeah. He was looking at the head for the longest time because the head was just right there. I was so, like... It was like the microphone. Huh? It was like that yeah. microphone. Mm -hmm. But usually her hair right now looks like it's... It's blonde? It's no, like... it's like brown. No, it's like your color. No. Once it starts lighting up, yeah. Oh, my experience, right? Yeah. So when we got there, I first of all, I didn't believe it because we've been there since like two times. So I thought it was just a normal one. Or like we're going to send get sent back mm -hmm. home. And once they started connecting all the equipment, I started vlogging. And out of nowhere, they took us into another room. So that's when I knew like it was about to happen. So I picked up the camera again, as you guys saw. And I just started vlogging, vlogging, and then... When the nurse came in with all the equipment, like for Jenica, for her things, the epidural, the medicine, the things, I started to get emotional. Like I couldn't talk and it was just like. I feel like it felt more real when they told us like how many centimeters I was mm -hmm. dilated. Yeah, because I thought we were there just to like wait to see what happened. And then if not, if she wasn't dilating quickly, they would have just sent us back to, to the house. But when I heard that she was seven centimeters, I knew it was go We're time. We're staying there. Mm -hmm. And then it went to nine. And then at t I, they did, didn't even tell you that it was 10, huh? Mm -hmm. It was, it's cause they had a lot of people. I feel like, oh, just wait until, mm -hmm. which that's understandable because of the Corona, but. Mm -hmm. And as soon as they came in, they straight away went to it. They they started her. They gave her medicine. They it was like six nurses, five nurses. A lot of nurses. And she started pushing. And 15 minutes later, Princess came out. It's just incredible. We're just thankful that she's healthy. That she's here. No complications. She's beautiful. Like, but like we say, we're really thankful. The first days were so easy, huh? Like of her being oh here. Cause like we had God. so much help from like girl, like nurses and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like we have one specific like nurse that she was so nice. If she's watching this, which I don't think she is. I don't think she is, but. But she was so good. Like how, like, if you ever give birth, ask for her like, like to oh be your God. nurse. Yeah. What was his name? Ariana. Ariana. Ariana, right. I don't know what her last name was, but she but, was really nice and she was young. Like, I feel like she understood us and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, she really took care of Jenica, first of all. And the baby. And the baby. She always came in if we needed anything, milk, uh, 
anything burpees or like uh, we know that's her job but she it was different it, it was it was like personal like yeah. she literally tried to help us like it wasn't we didn't feel like she it was, was doing it was her a job, job. Yeah. yeah it was like we were what like connected yeah. like friends and it's just a huge shout out to her you guys are pregnant and you guys are in tucson and you guys have the option to go to tmc make sure you guys ask for her because she's she incredible nice and yeah that's all but we just want to say or comment down below who she looks like before we close out today's video um there you go jenica or me well give her her space oh my god she's chinese like her dad that's all I'm gonna yeah say. she is chinese i'm gonna put her on this side and just let us know like in the comments i know you guys are shy to like comment but don't be don't be shy yeah and like, tell us like what we, what we should record because sometimes we have like nothing to record you always no, have we things. have things to record it's, it's just, just that, that i was pregnant so i couldn't do a lot of things but now that i'm not pregnant it is it, there's I'm, some big stuff coming uh -huh. like we have big ideas big pranks. dreams what kind of pranks? i have some good pranks i was i, I was scared to like do pranks because i was pregnant but now <laughs> all right <laughs> comment down below tina m <laughs> <laughs> but without further ado we are going to close out today's video if you guys like today's video make sure you guys subscribe turn on post notifications make sure you guys turn notifications on to all to get notified whenever we upload a brand new content if you guys would like a post notification shout out all you have to do is take a screenshot that you are part of the gem family have notifications on once you guys do those two things make sure to comment done as soon as you guys do that we'll look at the comments to make sure we chose one person and at the end of the next video we'll shout them out if you guys don't follow us on tiktok or instagram where there as the gem family make sure you guys go follow now we're about to go eat breakfast we haven't ate but without further ado pleasure to share this story with you guys and just talk it felt good to vlog. But without further ado, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.